are these people? Who are these people? All right. Friend of the show, Rich Slutsky. Used to be called Crying Grim over on the Twitters. Everyone knows Crying Grim and loves him. You can find him over on the Substack at Counterspin Lies, Damn Lies, and Spin. Posted an article I thought some of our friends might find interesting about Jen Dyes. You remember her, right? And his article mm -hmm. reads Lies, Damn Lies, Unfortunately. and Jen Dyes' Untimely Retirement. And this is a quick one, so I'll read this quickly. This is going to be a very brief post as I wanted a comment from Jen, but was unable to acquire one after much emailing and waiting. Last year, we discussed Jen and her blind hatred of Jimmy Dore in a piece titled Lies, Damn Lies in the Church of Bitching About Jimmy Dore, which I think we might have read here, in which we tore to shreds line by line discussing baseless accusations of pay to play from Jen. In that following year, Jen at some point abruptly deleted the article and, an, and another we linked to in the article. One in which she chided Jimmy Dore for being too harsh on Cornell West, a political non-entity running for president. So, did Jen issue a retraction or offer any sort of apology for her baseless accusatory tone? Of course not. No. In, May, in May 2024, she decided to leave writing entirely as a profession and abandon her, courage, her Courageous News or Courage News publication, still available on Substack. I'll update this further if we get more, but I think this is the end of the road. The article was deleted. The account now dormant. The political hit machine failed. The author disappeared from public life after an illustrious career kissing the asses of neoliberal Democrats and writing for Rolling Stone. More as we get it. <laughs> I thought people might enjoy that. Subscribe to our friend mm -hmm. Rich, who aligns with, our, with us over here at INN. We share his stuff on INN stack about about as about as courageous as brave brave sir robin like um, so well, you know i asked you the other day you know about bethesda game studios they're pretty big right yeah fallout um uh, what else sky sky Rim. right um, plenty, well, of, plenty of titles under the roster todd howard Glorious Todd Howard. It's been a depressing evening. However, mm -hmm. we have a little bit of good news. Bethesda became the first Microsoft game studio to actually unionize. They aligned with the Communications Workers of America. And Microsoft is actually going to recognize the union and negotiate with them, which is great. So I wanted to, to mention that. That was over at um, Mashable, which I'm not always a fan of what they published, but that was some good information. I showed earlier the graphic that I that I made about Palantir, Promis, Facebook, LifeLog, DARPA, Total Information Awareness, and P Peter Thiel's connection to all of this. And again, now Peter Thiel is funding J.D. Vance and in position to influence the Trump White House in a lot of ways. This helps make the connection visually between how they started as government programs and where they are now as private, publicly funded, uh, publicly traded entities on the stock market. So check that out. Finally, not really, almost finally, but we've got a full slate of shows this week. Holy moly. Last night, we had Pro Wrestling Talk at 8, and Snow Hambo streamed the, the Thaumaturge at 11. And he didn't quite make it to the end, so he's going to finish it this week probably. You're here on Sunday, so this is How Do We Miss That. We've got boats coming up next. Tomorrow night, we have the debut of a brand new show. I'm so excited. We haven't had a new show in a while on INN. Snow Hambo and Yeti Jesus have decided to get together and do a Canadian show called The Maple Files. And they're, they're going to talk about Canadian stuff. On Tuesday night, we're going to have an all-new American tradition, hopefully with Jesse and his new stuff, that we can hear better quality stuff and see him better through the laptop. Wednesday night, INN News. Will Colin be back? It's a mystery. You'll have to tune in to find out. Thursday night, we've got well, politically. We know who will be there? Well, this guy will be there. But Thursday night, well, politically. Also. Oh, right. Vanessa Beely. Right. Vanessa Beely. Yes, you got Vanessa so... Beely coming on, on pre record. Yes. 
So that'll be run on, on the Wednesday. Sword of Damascus night. herself. That's right. So Thursday night, again, mystery guest who will be yep. attending alongside um, Snow Himbo? I don't know. Good question. And then Friday night, check out Angel <laughs> in the Afternoon. Um, we know that Alex Knight was on last Friday with Angel. And then 10.30, we've got Clip Show with Jesse. Last week was epic. I don't know how many we're going to pick this week, but it'll be a couple dozen. Um, and this will be from episodes 23 to 33 of American Tradition out of the 44 that we've run so far. Um, and, and we'll pull some best of, some first reads, some um, world debuts, etc. And that'll be a good time. If you weren't there Friday night, it was, a, it, was, it was a blast. It was long, two and a half hours. Just like this, actually. But this wasn't, this is all original. That was just clips and great stuff of listening to Jesse Reed and play music. So if you, if you like that kind of thing, definitely check out American Tradition Clip Show Friday nights. Subject to change, all times Eastern, of course. But uh, that's our calendar for the week. Um, speaking of the Maple Files, that's what the logo is going to look like. Nice big maple leaf to maple files starring Yeti, Jesus, and Snow Himbo. Tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern on all the INN channels. As always, all the clips for How Do We Miss That are available here on IndieMediaToday.com. Okay, as well as original articles and um, show alerts for live streams, guest appearances like when, when I was on um, INN News last week and on The Homeless Left. Tech tips, all the stuff, really. Best way to stay in touch is right here over at IndieMediaToday.com, which also will then put you over to INN Stack. All right. And INN Stack by Indie News Network is where all of the network uh, stuff goes, including articles published by The Dissident and Rich Lutsky and me and Yeti and Reef and Snow Himbo. So all the members of INN publish here. Uh, this is, and, and our weekly update, of course, the weekly update, which would go out to IndieMediaToday.com, but, uh, but is originated in, and lives here at INN Stack because it's about INN. So, um, yeah, the last one was about the Indie Media Awards. Again, um, we're going to work with the artist Zago Brothers to have cartoon heads drawn of all of the Indie Media Award honorees. I provided them with a list, and we're going to ask our audience to help contribute to that and to support independent media and support independent art that will be given to independent media. Unlike an organization that's funded by Jeffrey Katzenberg, we are funded by our users and by the people watching now, and we love you for it. Um, please, if you can, and if you can't, enjoy the show, watch the show, but support independent media because we need it more than ever to challenge the corporate crap that's out there. You can do so by any of the links there or by going to co-fee.com slash Indie News Network as well. We're the only ones telling it like it is out here because corporate media sure ain't telling you what's going on with this. Okay, they're trying to bury this stuff. They're trying to hide it. They're trying to make it inconvenient and distasteful for people to even discuss. We're not going to do it and we're not going to turn away and we're going to keep, keep spitting.